Hi Sag, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and we are doing your reading. So let's begin. I've already cleansed the space and meditated on your cards. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If this reading resonates for you, please give this video a thumbs up. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who has been supporting me here on YouTube. I am very grateful to each and every one of you. And as a way of saying thank you, I will be giving away one personal reading at the end of the month. The mechanics on how to win will be announced after this reading. So stay tuned till the end of this video. I mean, till the end of this reading. And I hope you win. I hope you win. Sag, your overall energy for this reading or for this week is the High Priestess. You have the Death card. You have the Justice card. And then you have the the six of wands the king of pentacles the chariot and then the page of cups okay You have the Ace of Wands. Okay. Your challenge for this week, uh, Sag, sorry. Your challenge for this week, Sag, is something passionate coming towards you. I'm getting someone coming back for a second chance. This is someone you've broken up with. The challenge here has to do with the feeling that maybe they're coming in the wrong way. Maybe they're coming in with the wrong intentions. Maybe they're coming in because they just want to have SEX with me or want to be physical with me. I'm getting this is something that you're thinking. You're doubting the intentions of this person. But what I'm getting here is your person is going to tell you all the truths that you want to know. Is going to tell you the truth and nothing but the truth, alright? Um, this person really wants to succeed with you. Very much wants to succeed with you. This person has been in healing mode, coming out of healing. And I'm getting they want to, to restart this flame this passion with you they want to restart Sag okay so your overall energy for this reading is the high priestess spirit is telling you one thing to trust your intuition there are things that mm, how can I say it without sounding there are things that the mind cannot explain sometimes we have to listen to our intuition if something is right or is not right for us most of the time our intuition knows not just most of the time but all of the time your our intuition knows well if our intuition is not blocked or clouded we know i'm getting you know what is happening i'm getting you know what is coming towards you but Whatever happened in the past has really clouded your judgment. Has really clouded your judgment. But I'm getting you're going to trust your intuition a lot more this week. I'm getting that um, you know that this is happening. Someone is wanting to restart something with you. Someone cannot move on from you. Someone cannot move away from you. This person is someone stable, very stable, but very very um someone who is very committed to their work someone's very committed to their ambitions someone's very connected to their um um committed to their money I'm getting the, this person realizes that no matter how much money or how high the position is,
it's not as how can i say that it's not as satisfying if you don't have love in your life so this person is wanting to come towards you, wanting to start a brand new cycle with you if it's even possible. This person might have, you know, gotten a new job that's taking them forward a lot more successful. But what I'm getting here is maybe the second energy here I'm getting is this person might be separating from someone. Has decided the chariot is a decision card but whatever it takes that's how they move forward what i'm getting here is this person has decided to move away from this person to finally um either divorce or separate from this person i'm getting they want to move forward with you they're choosing you they want to move forward with you See, this person wants to succeed with you. They are going to do everything to succeed with you. To be back in your arms. This person is going to come towards you. They're going to apologize. They're going to ask for a new, for a new chance, for another chance, for another, you know, if, if you can renew your relationship, this person is going to ask. This person could be sending you flowers for some reason. I'm getting... Spirit is highlighting that the Page of Cups is wearing something floral. So, very highlighted. So, maybe this person is sending you flowers. Sorry, that popped out. You have the world here. So, yes, this person cannot end this cycle with you or wants to start a new cycle with you. Cannot you know move on move on from you and also pertaining to the world card maybe this person is at a distance from you let's see the overall um outcome of this reading for sag the overall outcome is the 10 of pentacles the 9 of pentacles okay from the 9 to the 10 all right Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and then the Two of Pentacles. So there is a lot of decisions that you have to make here. Both of you. Both of you needs to make a decision. The other one is weighing the options. The other one is deciding whether or not this person is still worth the second chance. So both of you mirroring a, uh, each other very clearly. Both at a decision point. All right? I'm getting you're very good on your own. You're actually really good on your own, Sag. But this person wants the Ten of Pentacles with you. This person can, can offer you that stable long-term commitment. But it's up to you if you want to accept it. What is the advice for Sag? The advice for Sag is the Hanged Man, the Seven of Swords, and then the Hermit. All right. The advice of spirit for you <clears throat> the advice of spirit for you, Sag, is the hermit. I'm getting... Don't, ju don't, Jalalda. don't shut yourself out from anyone, alright? You, you have been hurt, alright? You have been hurt in the past. But by someone who's very deceptive very manipulative or someone simply ran away from the connection but during that hermit mode it's it's up to you to really reflect and to understand what kind of relationship you want all right so you can always manifest what you want if this is not the relationship that you want 
then go ahead and manifest a new one. But don't shut yourself out from anyone. Don't shut yourself out from anyone. You can always, you know, tell them, no, I'm sorry, I can't. If you don't want it anymore. Tell them on the spot. What other messages that you have for Sag? What other messages for Sag, please? You have happiness. Happiness is coming towards you. And the there are dolphins here. It's like the High Priestess card where they have this sonar. A sonar is like an intuition. They know if danger is coming. They know what is coming towards them. Even if it's miles away. Not really. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's miles away or kilometers. But even if it's at a distance, they know if something is coming towards them. All right? What is the... Um, they know what's happening in their surroundings. All right? So happiness and embracing. Embracing change. Embracing... Um, what is coming towards you what is meant for you all right so i hope something in this reading resonated if it did please give this video a thumbs up and sag if you are person uh, if you are personal i'm sorry let me do that again sag if you are interested in winning a personal reading with me all you have to do are is two things are two things number one you have to be subscribed to my channel and number two Type in the comment section down below, what is meant for me will never pass me by. What is meant for me will never pass me by. It's you affirming, why this one? It's you affirming to yourself that you don't need to find love. You don't need to go out and chase love or what is, or anything that you want. Because what is meant for you will never ever pass you by. It will find you. It will. Alright, so I hope something in this reading resonated. I'll see you in the next reading. I love you all and stay blessed.